Get some salt. Get some more. Man. Dang, we're kind of slim today. Was it, we called in sick today? Or what's it? Oh, Fast Friday. There you go. Everyone's out of the office. Fast Friday. How much do you feel like you still see him kind of inventing and doing things that are new to you even now? No, I, I mean, with him, it's, we're always in the lab. I feel like uh, he's someone that's always coming up with something new. Uh, you never know with him. But I definitely would say that, you know, a play is never over until the whistle's blown. And with him, you know, his arm is one thing, but his legs are a whole another, you know, issue that teams have to worry about. Um, and even with us, too, like, you guys can't, you know, drop out of coverage or leave their man, you know, to, to stop the quarterback because, you know, he's still looking downfield even though when he's not. Um, so, yeah, he's a, he's a special individual. I'm, I'm sure you were probably told about that quality of his or knew about it, that the play's never over until it's over with him. But can you, until you play with him, can you ever really appreciate that? Yeah, like, you don't, you don't really – people say it, and then when you're actually out there and, like, doing it with him, yeah. man, you don't you – don't, you never – it's hard to – to tell people and for them to not to relate by actually like going out there and actually doing with him. Because like my teammates and uh, not my teammates, but like my family and friends are like, oh my gosh, like how's Patrick Mahomes? I'm like, uh, he's a, I was like, he's just, just a special individual. And for myself, it's just that like, it's just like playing Madden. You know, back in when you had, you know, Michael Vick who can just run all over the field and then launch it 80 yards down the field, it's kind of like that. But for me, it's IRL, it's in real life. Sort of with that, what's kind of interesting for you, I guess, is, I mean, okay, so you've obviously learned this offense inside and out and just all that, but is there always kind of this little sense of freshness and reinvention all the time with week to week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's uh, in every play and every, you know, the plays that we run, you know, week to week is kind of, you know, set up for him to, like, you know, do what he has to do. And he has so many options. And like I said, this playbook is uh, it's to give so many guys opportunities to go out there and play. When it gets to be out of structure, it seems like he has a knack with Travis where they kind of know where each other are going. Where do you think you're at with him when it comes to that, the end of those? I would say I would say I have a good feel. Um, obviously, you know, him and Travis have been playing for years, you know, now. So, But I think that I'm working towards that, and that's where I want to be at, where how he feels where he can go to Trav and, you know, on broken down plays and find Trav. So, and that's something that I feel like, you know, we're working towards that. We're getting uh, close to the end of the regular season. You had said weeks ago that you'd like to, to stay in Kansas City. And I guess to take that a step further, what has made Kansas City and the Chiefs organization sort of feel like home for you uh, as you've gone through this year? Yeah, I, I just feel I just feel welcome here. You know, I think the fan base is unbelievable. Um, everyone here in the office, as far as, like, the staff, the people, you guys, uh, you guys have been unbelievable to me and just been super nice. And, you know, for myself, it's just more so of, you know, I want to be in a place where, you know, I can play ball, you know, show my personalities. And just win, man. So, yeah. Angel, um, y'all are a tight knit group in the wide receiver room. Uh, Coach Andy Reid told us today that Nicole Hardman suffered a setback on Wednesday. What have y'all done to keep his spirits up and to encourage him? Uh, just keep him much as around as possible. You know, with Miko, he's one of those guys that like you just got to communicate with him, and uh, he's a strong individual. He's gonna bounce back. He's gonna, you know, help us, you know, in the long run and stretch. But for someone who's going through some, some injuries, you know, and I know Miko, he wants to be out there. He wants to play. Uh, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's all about the timing when he's ready, when he's ready to come out and help us. But like I said, just the communication, hanging out with him, talking. But like you said, he's around the facility. How much of that camaraderie is going to carry over into the postseason? Uh, it's gonna, it, it helps out a lot, man. Uh, just that chemistry and that bond you know, between us. Uh, and I'll tell you one thing. One thing in our room, there's no, really, there's no selfishness. That, man, there's only one ball, and you got you know all these playmakers, and it's you know it's just a matter of time that when your numbers call, just make your plays. And everyone, you know, we're all here to win. We're all here for one goal, and that's just to you know chase the ring. Anything else, guys? Uh, just one other thing, just about dealing with the cold weather. You have to deal with it again. I'm just curious how you gird yourself to catch the ball in, in that weather. What what things you did and do to to be ready when it's you know. With wind chill. Man, it's just the focus, keeping your eyes on the ball. And then, I don't know, I'm a hand warmer guy. So my hands are always like in and out, trying to keep my hands warm, uh, staying fresh, and uh, just looking it in and, you know, catch the ball. So there's nothing really crazy that I do. I don't, 
you know, put Vaseline on my body. I don't wear the, you know, the, the whole scuba suit uh, for myself. So I got used to it over the times of just being in the league and playing in Pittsburgh and then coming here. Yeah. Uh, I would say it's a little lot colder here, though. Do you look to use your arms more to bring it in, or do you, do you feel like you're I, to Me personally, I prefer hands. hands. Yeah. It, now, if it's a body catch, then it's, I mean, a more physical coming across the middle, then I understand that. But, yeah, hands for sure. So be on the lookout for any surprises come Sunday. I know you did the, uh, the Grinch thing last week. You know. uh, for New Year's? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. You never know. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully something cool, though. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, yeah, no problem.